Hello there, my beautiful collective. I hope you're having a wonderful day. What's up, collective? You can ring my bell. Ring my bell. Ring a ring a ring. Oh, collective. What's going on in your energy, Collective? What's up? God protects me and God fights my battles. No weapon formed in spirit or physical against me shall prosper. I'm highly favored and protected from all evil, as is my beautiful Collective. Collective, what's going on? I was drawn to a different deck. Uh, kind of like a zombie tarot deck. I was gifted this a while back. Um spoke to me. So let's see what's going on here. Oh, I like that. I like that. What do we got here? Five of Pentacles. Mmm. Someone's feeling ostracized. They're feeling out. They're feeling naked, alone and afraid. And you see at the end of that bridge? Ooh. Ooh. 20, that's judgment, isn't it? Yeah. Ooh, so someone ain't got their spiritual protection going anymore. Someone ain't got their spiritual protection up. Judgment's coming. Okay, collective. I hope that's not your energy. Say your prayers. Find Jesus. Whatever deity you choose to worship, right? Take it to God. Pray on it. Someone's going through it. Now, for some of you, this could be crosswatcher energy. Take it how it resonates in your situation, collective. Oh, I love that. Number 18, the moon. The moon. The readings have been really very, very deep. I'm, I'm loving this. A lot of you, it's about that sort of uh, emotional release. We got a solo violinist there. But when I look at that card, the song I get is from Miss Saigon. A song played on a solo saxophone. A crazy sound. A lonely sound, a cry that tells us love goes on and on. The beauty in the rebel, uh, right? Tower moments, y'all. Tower moments are their teaching lessons. It's what you learn from it. Uh, it's looking around and really paying attention. The emotions. And if you notice, there's a bit of like orange on that moon there a lot of you with this last full moon in scorpio are definitely feeling it this of course is pisces <sighs> ace of wands but look look at <laughs> look at that card the crow up there on that lamp post the barbed wire there's blood too That's Kitty telling me that he needs water in his dish. If you're wondering what that tapping sound is. With the Three of Swords. It's a solitary energy. It's a solitary energy. Because in all three of them cards, there's one thing that catches your attention. It's a solitary energy. So collective, I don't necessarily know that this is you. This is at the bottom of the deck. Someone's on a journey. Spiritual journey. Spiritual awakening. Let's see if they take it or not. If his whiskers touch the side of the dish, he does that. 
Okay, he does not like his whiskers to touch the side of the dish. I can assure you he's got water. It's just not filled to the brim. <laughs> Kitty's very particular. Uh, so you got a solitary energy around you that is definitely, uh, definitely getting it. One eight one three eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen, which goes to four. Some of you could be an emperor energy around you. It could be a masculine energy going through this. That awakening. Mm -mm -mm. Damn, ten of swords. Yep, <laughs> judgment time. <laughs> Freaking kitty. Ten of swords. Ooh. King of wands. Oh, ancestor energy. This Someone's getting taught a lesson from their ancestors. Lord have mercy. Can you all believe that cat? Yeah, ancestor energy. This is the world card. Ancestor energy. Like I'm big time. Ooh. Say your prayers for those that's passed. The loved ones around you that's passed. Someone was supposed to evolve. Change their family's karmic ways. But someone isn't. Someone hasn't elevated. Someone hasn't elevated. On top of this world card. Six of cups. Someone's being taken back to their youth. Someone is having dreams. For some of you nightmares. Because notice that moon up there in that. Someone's having nightmares of their youth. They're remembering some shit. The, to the toxicity. If there was any toxicity. Six of cups there. Mm, childhood fears. So someone isn't doing the, the inner work, the inner healing. It's, it's like someone's being haunted by their past. Someone's being haunted by their past. They look in the mirror and they can see, you know. They can see who they've become. Oh. Take that how that resonates. Take that how that resonates. Flashbacks from childhood. Someone's got to do some past life, though. Not past, I was going to say past life regression, childhood, childhood energy here. Someone's got some childhood demons they need to deal with. Someone's, someone's seeing, someone's seeing a reflection of who they've become. Oh, Lord have mercy. Queen of Pentacles. Ooh. Temperance. Temperance angel. Someone's toxic childhood is haunting the fuck out of them. Could be a passing. Temperance angel there with the three of cups. Someone's supposed to be on that journey of enlightenment, but they, they keep refusing to... It's like their ancestors are coming down to help them out, but they don't want to fucking do it. Chasing their childhood fears. Hmm. Collective, I sure the hell hope this isn't your energy. I mean, it's a cross watcher. 
A lot of cross watcher energy showing up. So y'all keep your protection up. Keep your prayers up. Someone here needs to take a journey. They're getting haunted. Childhood. Could be a childhood of alcohol abuse. All, all kinds of fuck shit energy here that someone has just repressed. And now it's hit that breaking point. Someone's seen a reflection of themselves. They don't like who the fuck they're seeing. It's a reminder of their childhood. Repeating patterns. Someone's repeating patterns of behavior. Toxic family ways. When two karmics have children. When two karmics create a, a fucking mess. Temperance angel. And things fall the fuck apart. Karmic relationships. Reading karmic children. Three of Cups, though. Someone's meant to elevate. Someone's going to see something. Four of Wands. But they refuse to listen. They refuse to take the journey. <sighs> this is a solitary journey someone's meant to go on, but they are just avoiding it at all costs. You know, you got to do the childhood healing. You got to go back in there and figure out what the fuck was up. Someone is seeing. Someone is seeing. Feels like they're reliving their childhood, but they're just a uh, living example of who their creator was, who created them. Temperance Angel with the Queen of Pentacles. Damn. But this isn't a negative energy, though. Uh, right, guys and gals? I mean, a lot of people don't understand what the fucking journey is. What's the journey? The evolution. Someone here is, is meant to evolve, to grow, to learn, to do the healing, but they just refuse to. They refuse to. Childhood fears, limitations, overcoming. Look how haunting that card is. <laughs> I mean, I love this deck, but it is, it's a very visual deck. Someone's going back to their childhood and remembering things. It's supposed to be an evolution, a chance for someone to learn, but someone keeps blocking it the fuck out. So for a lot of you, that's why the growth isn't happening, because someone just isn't allowing it. Getting that Carrie Underwood song, uh, Blown Away. Daddy laid there, passed out on the couch. Mama was an angel in the ground. Shadow every window, tell it's all blown away. Oh, Lord have mercy. Yeah, someone's got some inner, inner healing to do, but they're not fucking doing it. They are not doing it. Why would you fight it? Collective, I feel this is a cross-watcher energy for some of you. Maybe for some of you holding on to toxic people in your life. Realize that some people got some work to do. They got some inner childhood healing to do. Because they are becoming who they never thought they'd become. Split and fucking image. Daddy laid there, passed out on the couch. Yeah. So, stirring up of emotions, right? That Scorpio full moon. Ace of Cups. It's meant to be a healing type energy. 
It's the difference between going down that rabbit hole and seeing the negative or finding the positive in things, right? Some people don't realize the positive, the healing that needs to take place. Six of Cups, Three of Cups, Ace of Cups, Ten of Cups, Healing, Childhood Healing. I got Jackie over here. Jackie, what are you doing? She's ignoring me. At least Kitty shut up. Okay, collective. That was a little deep, but you know that Scorpio moon's going to be causing that. So, you know, y'all just say your prayers, send your love, peace and light out there for those who are going through it. Because someone is definitely going through it. They could seriously be looking in the mirror and seeing a reflection of who they never thought they'd become. Lord have mercy. Let's throw an oracle card down. Mentors and role models, number 18. The moon card. Mentors and role models. Walk a little straighter, daddy. Oh, so much. Ooh, Lord have mercy. Some of could definitely have a drinking problem that they inherited. And I get stoned and sing all night long. It's a family tradition. <laughs> Temperance Angel again. Temperance Angel again. What's going on? What's going on? What else does a collective need to know? Send your prayers out there, y'all. Do what you gotta do. Ace of Pentacles with the Temperance. Trust your guidance. Some of you earth angels are going to be getting your little halo down here on earth. Your little spiritual blessings for doing the healing. Which is why you do the healing. You focus on the healing. Right? Mm. Two of Swords energy. That quarter moon there. Some of y'all keep your, keep your energy up there. Two layers of protection. Definitely, if you're around somebody that's going through that sort of spiritual, it wasn't really a dark night of a soul of the soul because we didn't have the nine of swords. Someone's just facing a fucking reality. So whatever they go with that, uh, don't be trying to tap into that fucking energy. Okay, you got to be very mindful of the energies you tap into. Definitely leave that energy here. Wash it off. You don't fucking need it. Send out your prayers, and you're good. Two of Swords, a lot of you got that divine protection going on around you. Just, uh, you know, be smart. If you've broken the connection, you've severed the ties, don't go back to it. Some of y'all don't become enablers. Someone's got some healing to do. Five of Pentacles. Someone's got some healing to do. Six of Pentacles. Judgment. Yeah. There's balance coming into a situation, but someone's going to have to uh, ask for it. Above this, we got Temperance Angel again. I don't think you're going to be a part of this healing process. Four of Cups. It's not your time to give to this situation. Mm -mm. You focus on your energy right now, Collective. Now's not the time. Now's not the time. Ooh. Yeah. Judgment. So there's hell to pay. Judgment time. Between temperance and judgment, six of cups. Someone's definitely needed to do some childhood healing. And until they focus on that childhood healing, they're not going to be able to move forward. Between judgment and four of cups is this knight of pentacles. Because it's always fake ass offers, right? This is someone that can't back what the hell they do. This is someone that can't back the promises that they make. Empty promises. 
That's why now's not the time to move forward in any situation for some of you, especially in a healing situation, because someone can't even give to themselves, let alone give to you, right? So just be mindful of that energy. Seven of Swords. Someone has learned between the Four of Cups and the Five of Pentacles that you can't depend upon somebody. So for some of you, someone's got to earn your damn trust back before you'd even fucking go near them. So, and how are they going to do that? So a lot of you, you're not going to be uh, letting this person around you because you can't fucking trust them. <laughs> Temperance Angel. That means that it, it ain't up to you to heal this person. Someone's got to go in and heal themselves. Whatever trauma they got going on in their life. Things are coming around full circle. Things are coming around full circle for somebody. Because someone needs to do their shadow work. Someone needs to do their shadow work. You know, that six of cups, when we tell y'all you don't need to be going back to somebody, not if someone ain't done the fucking work, y'all. Shit ain't changed if they ain't done the fucking inner healing. You just gonna go back to the same fucking shit, just a different fucking day. Healed energy. But that healing takes a long time. That healing takes a long ass time. Mm. Lord have mercy. Yeah, someone's still doing their shadow work. They still don't know what the hell they want, what the hell to do. Send people peace, love, and light, y'all. Your prayers will find who need it. Because whoever this is, you can't trust them. They make empty promises. They're very, they're very untrustworthy. It's not time to deal with this person. Doesn't mean you can't ever, but some of y'all, six months to a year at least. At least. Someone needs to do the process. Someone needs to do the healing. Mm. Victory comes when you do the work. But someone needs to start doing the work. A lot of you have done the work. That's where we get some really beautiful readings coming up. A lot of you, it, and it does come down to the pentacles, right? Before you can really focus on relationships, some of y'all got to get your money in order, right? Get your stability. Get yourself feeling good. So you're strong and confident, and able to go out there and conquer the world. A lot of you being able to do what you need to do. But you still got that toxic energy around. The unhealed one. Nine of Swords. Someone is definitely going through it. But they're only going through it because they don't want to do the shadow work. Someone don't want to do the shadow work. Those are the energies you got to be mindful of. Especially as you move forward. Because those are just the ones that show up and, you know, fuck your happiness up. Because they're unhappy. Ten of Cups. This is, uh, could also be family healing as well. Family dynamics. Mm. Illusion and confusion. Illusion and confusion. Illusion and confusion. There's that moon, especially with the scorpionic energy. Now is not the time for partnerships for a lot of you. There's still healing that needs to take place. 
the will of fortune, the divine timing. You gotta let things play out the way they play out. You gotta allow energies to heal. Spirit's working on somebody. You know, when someone's in this nine of swords energy, God's watching over them. They just got to pray for the help and start being proactive in their situation. You're never in this nine of swords energy without God being close by. You're never in that energy without God being close by. All they got to do is ask and be willing to put forth the work. Time, energy, and effort. Divine timing. There's a beautiful cross crossing of energy here. Okay, so many people that get in this, spirit is around. You know, that's the thing. How long are you going to stay in that energy? Because we got temperance angel here. We got the will of fortune. We got archangel Michael right here. Someone has everything they need around them. They just got to ask for the help. How long are they going to stay stuck? There's that chance for that spin on that Wheel of Fortune. So the negative readings, guys and gals, really aren't negative, right? People need to realize that they can get out of this energy. But a lot of you need to realize you can't go into this energy to help somebody out. This is divine timing on someone else's part. They got to do the work. They got to do the work. They got to be willing to face their shadow self. It's their shadow self. I don't care how this energy shows up in your life. Work, love, life, friends, family, children, however the fuck it is. It's breaking that cycle to get a new start on that will of fortune. Because you are never in this energy without God being around you. So send out your prayers, collective, even if you don't know these energies. Some of y'all are my prayer warriors. You just, you got a lot more strength and your prayers can reach those that need it, that can help them out, help pull them out of situations, help, uh, you know, uplift them to, to sort of see that you can't get out of that energy. God never forsakes you, not in your time of deepest sorrow. You're never forsaken. You never, but you got to ask for the help and then you got to be willing to take that journey to switch shit around. Hmm. That was deep. You can ring my bell, ring my bell, ring a ring a ring. <laughs> I woke Jackie up on that one. She didn't know what the hell to think. Peace, love, and light. Say your prayers, my earth angels out there. They'll reach the right people. But people got to ask for help. 
Peace, love, and light, collective.